Hello everyone, this is Caleb from Cosmic Hat Games with another Duels of Fortune character showcase. Today, we're getting down to business and presenting you the scaredy, shaky, subpar salary man, Justin O'Guy. Guy is, in contrast to other characters, notably weak and frail. After all, he's no genius or superhuman or trained fighter. He's just a normal guy. But even the most pitiful of combatants have the potential to succeed in the right hands. Guy might have to work a bit harder than his competition, but even someone like him has unique, hidden strengths that can flourish under the right circumstances. Right off the bat, Guy has a few inherent traits to take note of. He has the lowest max health in the game, even lower than Shoto or Annie, so he can't take very much of a beating. He also has both the lowest and the slowest jump in the game, so he can't make good use of the air the same way most other fighters can. The low height of his jump can be used to consistently throw out low-to-the-ground air attacks, but the sluggishness of it makes this not a very sustainable tactic. Also of note is that Guy loses his briefcase after performing certain special moves. While he doesn't have his briefcase, some of his attacks will change to weaker versions, limiting his offensive capabilities. He'll also take a small amount of chip damage when blocking incoming attacks, and be unable to block super attacks entirely. The special moves that cause Guy to lose his briefcase are very useful in their own right, but just be sure that if you throw the case away, you have a decent plan to get it back. Moving on to command normals, Guy only has a single one. Guy's back heavy is a choo. Guy lets out a sneeze, spewing snot everywhere. Ugh. This attack will launch the opponent, letting you follow up with a special move. Just maybe use a tissue next time. Now it's time to get to work. Let's take a look at Guy's special moves. Does being special on Guy make them less normal or more normal? Anyway, first up is Guy's neutral special, Paperwork Javelin. Guy throws his briefcase as a damaging projectile attack. You can hold back during the startup to change the angle of the throw, making Guy toss it practically straight upward. This is one of Guy's more damaging moves, and his only way to hit opponents at a range, but using it causes him to lose his briefcase. It's best to use it sparingly, either as a last resort or in situations where you know you can retrieve the case quickly. Pressing neutral special without a briefcase will perform Graphite Spear. This is a much less impressive projectile, being significantly weaker in both range and power. It's better than nothing, but it's not exactly going to save your life. Needless to say, you're much better off having the briefcase. Guy's back special is Business Tornado. Guy whirls around with his briefcase in hand, carrying him forward before it flies right out of his hands. This attack deals some downright excellent damage but it's very slow and committal to use, and causes you to lose the briefcase. If used without the briefcase, the attack is much weaker and doesn't travel as far, and the lack of a projectile afterward leaves you a lot more vulnerable. The damage on the briefcase version is substantial, but be sure to use it with caution. Guy's down special is Coffee Break. Guy pulls out a cup of coffee and gulps it down. This consumes one coffee bean, which are displayed at the bottom of the screen above Guy's super meter, and it grants him the caffeinated buff for a short time. While caffeinated, Guy's mobility improves substantially, increasing his movement speed and allowing him to double jump. That's some good coffee. Unfortunately though, as soon as the effect ends, Guy will go into a caffeine crash, making him even slower than normal for a few seconds. The crash doesn't last too long, but letting it happen at a bad time can be very dangerous. The speed buff can be used for lots of different things, like going on the offensive, running away, or even retrieving your briefcase in a pinch, since the move can be used without even having it. But that's not all the coffee is capable of. If you press down special while either of the coffee effects is already active, you'll get a different move. Hot Hot! This still consumes a coffee bean, but instead of drinking the coffee, Guy will spit it out, creating a large, unblockable hitbox in front of him that briefly stuns the opponent in place. This is one of Guy's strongest attacks, but the cost of an extra bean on top of the one needed to activate the effect means you can only use it very sparingly. And Guy's jumping special is just a kick. It, yeah, no, this one kind of speaks for itself, huh? And lastly, before we clock out, let's take a look at Guy's best techniques. His super moves. Guy's neutral super is taxi, please. Guy calls a taxi on his phone, which will arrive 15 seconds after the super is used. The taxi itself deals a lot of damage the most of any unboosted super currently in the game, in fact. But the 15 second waiting time makes it pretty impractical to use normally.
still, the threat of its arrival can keep your opponents on their toes. This super also has a secondary function. If you press neutral super again during the waiting period, you can spend 25% super meter to swap out the taxi for a delivery car. The delivery car deals less damage than the taxi, but when it arrives, it'll drop a bag containing a coffee bean. If you have the meter, you can even place a second order to get a bag containing two beans. The delivery car is the only way to replenish coffee beans during the match, so it can be a great utility if you can spare the meter for it. Overall, it's a very multi-purpose super, albeit with a comedically long startup time. And Guy's down super is Courageous Leap. Mimicking a superhero, Guy dramatically lunges into the air, only to come crashing right back down on his face. He's trying his best. If Guy is caffeinated when using this super, it will have a slight damage bonus, and Guy will actually manage to land on his feet, much to his own amazement. The ending celebration might seem lengthy, but it can be easily cancelled with a dash halfway through. Make the best of Guy's various unique moves to overcome his weaknesses and turn the tables on your opponent when they least expect it. Beat all the odds and show your enemies that power means nothing in the face of raw determination. Most fights may be uphill battles for Guy, but even if his opponent is bigger than him, faster than him, stronger than him, and more experienced than him, that isn't going to stop him from doing everything he can to win even if every fiber of his being wants to run for the hills. That's all for today's showcase. If you like what you see, you can try the game out for yourself through the links in the video description. You can also follow us on Twitter or join the Discord community to keep up with the game's development. We hope you look forward to getting your hands on Guy and to more showcase videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching.